good to be here tonight. My name is Dean Kurtz, and it's been a great uh, day and a half here uh, with the young people. We certainly have enjoyed it. And uh, to be reminded of this very, very important thing that God has given us a service and ministry to perform. 532 in your hymnals, 532, Christ receive a sinful man. What a tremendous blessing. I'm going to give you uh, the opportunity to stand. You're going to be doing a lot of listening and sitting tonight. But let's start out by singing 532. <laughs> you to take an opportunity to greet those folks that are around you. Isn't it a blessing that Christ received you? <laughs> are you thankful for that tonight? I know I am. 14-year-old boys, when I came to Christ, understood the gospel really for the first time and yielded my heart to him. And now, one of my favorite verses in all the Bible, there's no condemnation to them that are in Christ Amen. Jesus. What a promise. Let's share the joy of the Lord as the instrument plays. As they do that, make sure you introduce yourself. Revelation 4.11 states, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. May it be our desire to praise the Lord and to go to the world, telling others about Him so that people from all over the earth may sing praise to God. Surely God is worthy of intelligent praise. When we bless God, we are doing more than praising Him. To bless is to praise with the affections and gratitude. Having first called upon his own soul, the psalmist next calls upon all men to praise the Lord. His many benefits are not to be forgotten, but people are so forgetful that we are continually exhorted not to forget. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands.
Our Lord said, Every creature, how dare we disobey? The message must be taken, then let us speed away. The gospel must be published and put in every home. O oh, hasten then and seek them wheresoever they may roam. We may not go in person, but we can give and pray. The printed page will tell them of Christ, the truth, the way. Then let us put our money where it will count the most. The message is God's method, his power, the Holy Ghost. Within our generation, the story must be told, for millions are still waiting outside the Savior's fold. Then let us do his bidding by doing what he said. The multitudes are longing for Christ, the living bread.